noted that there have been abuses of incumbency where those who wish to uh, organize rallies in, in, in governor in, uh, where governors are not of the same party that they have been hindered in some way. Uh, we have seen instances in which uh, there have been uh, intimidation and therefore we took note of these issues and these fall well short of international standards that Nigeria has set for itself. Um, and we would encourage uh, these cases to be prosecuted uh, because impunity uh, it discourages people from taking part and this is not uh, up to the standards of inclusivity that we want to see in these elections. Well, there was two peace accords, in fact, and as you rightly note, there was a peace accord last week, and the sentiments of that peace accord are something that we would fully echo in the, in the European Union, and we want to see uh, political participants making very clear statements and not tolerating the type of intimidation that was going on from in, in certain places, and our observations um, were that there was intimidation going on and that it was intended to suppress voter turnout and that's a very serious issue and it falls well, well short of the standards that Nigeria sets itself. Um, so, but there are, there should be very clear pathways to prosecution for those who carried this out. Um, there, there should be very clear provisions within the Electoral Act about electoral offences um, and intimidation of this sort. Uh, so we would... Uh,